It's a thrill to know that people are going to be looking at these beautiful brains and thinking the brain is cool. The brain is cool. Just going around and looking at the brains, people will be talking about the brain. Uh, for this brain in particular, it labels the different parts of the brain so people get an, an understanding that, oh, it is organized and it's something that I can actually learn about. And every brain has a sign and on that sign are five basic brain facts, interesting things about the brain. And then every brain has a question that you can ask for your phone app game so that it's cool and it's technological and it's interactive. And so hopefully it will just stimulate more conversation. I think the better we understand what's inside of our own head, the better we'll take care of it. And overall, that will help with the mental health of our society. And bottom line is everything's going to boil down to how do we treat one another? How do we treat ourselves? What is life about? How do we regain quality of living so that life is fun? And, and, and I, I just think that it's a positive thing in the, in the world. It's been a, a good 18 months, two years to 18 months of, of really coming up with the idea, getting people involved and excited about it. And we just asked artists to put in proposals for their ideas of what they might do. And we had a lot of artists respond. And so then I worked with them on their ideas and their designs because my really one criteria was whatever they do, it had to be neuroanatomically correct. So we talked about it, we massaged ideas, and then I just let them go free. Because they're so big, the brain is so big, a lot of artists didn't have a place at home to keep their brain. So Stone Belt allowed us to have a, an artist colony, if you will, of a dozen brains in their back warehouse area where the artists could get together to work, which was wonderful because then I could go to there and kind of get a sense of who's doing what and what are they going to look like and oh my gosh, and they were all so diverse. And then I could also go around to some of the studios of the other artists and get a sense of what's going on. So it's been wonderful. You know, it's all been about April 28th, April 28th, April 28th, and finally it's here, and here they are. And in my mind, I just wanted to look out over this field of brains. That was my dream. So last night as we were setting up the signs, one of the students said, oh, the brains are all here. You know, I just had this moment of, oh my gosh, this is that moment. And as when I turned around and I counted 7, 14, 21, it was so beautiful. So I went up to the top of the bleachers and I just looked down over the field and I just cried. You know, it's so beautiful for me. It's a, it's a, it's a dream come true in so many ways. And you know, we can reduce it to, it's an art exhibit in Bloomington, but on the big picture, this is who we're representing ourselves to be to the world. And we care about connection, and we care about relationships, and we care about collaboration, and we care about each other in this community. And, and this is synonymous, you know, we're, we're creating a healthy community network, which is what the brain is all about. So for me, it's been a beautiful, beautiful experience, and today's a fabulous day.